in the coming months. Scientists at UCLA are working very hard right now to try to save our planet. They've developed new technology that uses the power of the ocean to remove damaging carbon dioxide from the atmosphere while also creating green energy. KCAL News reporter Rena Nakano explains how it works. Scientists at UCLA say this barge in San Pedro could be the answer to a carbon-free future. It's designed to do carbon dioxide removal from the atmosphere, but it leverages the size and scale of the oceans. They call it Project Sea Change. The new technology traps CO2 in the air, runs it through a machine to mix with ocean water, and it comes out as a powderized form of calcium carbonate or limestone. For context setting, calcium carbonate is the stuff that seashells are made of, and so you're putting it back into an environment that is native to. Two years ago, engineers started with this four by four inch model in the lab. Wednesday morning, they unveiled a life size prototype in LA. A similar version goes live in Singapore next week. Intake of seawater. Scientists say there's a second benefit to the technology. The process also creates green energy. Water electrolysis produces the green hydrogen gas as a co-product, which can be used to power the process itself or be used as a low carbon energy source to power industrial processes or for heavy duty transport. As with any new technology, this isn't cheap, but researchers do say they have a specific measure of success. How do you achieve carbon dioxide removal from the atmosphere at a cost that is well below $100 a metric ton? And how do you produce hydrogen simultaneously at a cost that is on the order of a below a dollar per kilogram? With these metrics in mind, engineers are hoping to expand Project Sea Change. By comparing results with the unit in Singapore, they hope to improve and expand the technology to be used in real world settings to move toward a carbon free world. Carbon credits that you would generate from a plant of the sort would be used to decarbonize industries, an example. Think of aviation, but it would also be used, for example, to sell credits on the voluntary carbon markets. In San Pedro, I'm Rena Nakano, KCAL News. All right, coming up next year at four, see what the most ex